last week you've seen me work on my lawn and as you can see it's now tidy but before I worked on my next tasks I'm thinking that there's probably something that I left out some unfinished business as you can see the edges are tidy and clean but something is bothering me right now I'm thinking that maybe I should fill it up with some pebbles and to contrast against the white because I'm using white top dressing on most of my landscape I might be using something else it's a toss up between the Tuscan rock and the red pebbles. I think I'll go with red. <laughs> now before I work on filling up the trenches, I feel like this edge the grass here should be trimmed even further just so I don't have to work on this for quite a while and for that I'll be using this lawn shears it works pretty much the same as your regular shears or scissors only it works perpendicular to your hand so if I I could do it this way this way and I don't have to do it this way and given the size of this thing, I could use this one-handed. And that means that I have better flexibility and better reach. Now this is some of the red scoria that I got from Soilworks a while back and I'm thinking of using this to fill up the trench because I have several bags of this. I think it's still worth half a cubic meter or a whole cubic meter. We'll see. I had to take a break so it started showering. I'm going to stop here by the Patreon shrine for now. So I need to work on the landscape. Now for today's agenda, I've been wanting to deconstruct this stream for quite a while now because there's lots of space, lots of gaps and it's taking a while for my Glocka to fill them up. They grow fast but they grow in tight clumps which means that I would need to separate them every time and that's a lot of work. So I was thinking that maybe, especially since right now it's mostly just the warmer colors, we've got the greens, the blues light blues, a bit of yellow there, and some here, and I think it's severely lacking in color. So I think it would be a good idea to place some of the nice cup-shaped rosettes over here. I've got lots of them at the back. Let's see what we have. Let's go!
here's my short list of plants. You might be wondering why I seem so eager to move them out into this area. And the main reasoning behind it is because this is going to be an experiment. I want to see how they fare directly on the ground, exposed to the sunlight. And besides, they've been out here under the sun for weeks, months now. They should be ready. I'm sure they can take on the sun and this experiment is mainly about the type of soil that I can put them in and how they work during winter especially in a tapestry with a minor loss of airflow. The next few weeks would be really interesting. The first thing I think I should do is to remove this bowl from here because I believe it needs a deeper hole for it to sit in. Right now most of the bowl is above ground and especially due to erosion, the soil level has gone down even more. So it's getting off now. Next would be redoing the border, so I'm going to remove all of these rocks. Unfortunately for me, the soil mix that I used here contains lots of sawdust. It was an experiment and I found out the hard way that it was a bit hydrophobic, which means that it's repelling some water. It isn't absorbing water as fast and as a result it just erodes. I'm not going to remove them completely but I'm going to mix them with some of my scoria. On further thought, I think I'm going to remove all of this gloca, replace the soil and finally work, rework the tapestry. I'm still going to feature some of the gloca because it forms some sort of continuity with this bowl. But I'm going to litter this place with some of the colorful interiors. I don't know about you, but I get ecstatic whenever I see bare soil like this. All of the possibilities, man. start with this ones for now and I'll add more if there's still enough space for more rosettes.
I think this is enough echeveria and from now on what I'm going to do is to fill up this gap. This is going to be the stream with the glauca. This is what we ended up doing for the last few hours. I think it took me about three or four hours and a lot of that time was spent removing the dead leaves. It's so tedious man. You might notice that there are a few bare spots like this one and that one over there. I'm keeping it that way for now because I'm because I intend to fill it up with more say for instance this part. I'm going to fill it up with more glauca as I propagate more. In that area, I'll be sticking more cuttings of the ground cover. So you can expect that to happen over the next few weeks, I guess. I'd like to thank my Patreon sponsors, that's Oscarino, Julie Seals, Snapkui, Gloria Ninotica, Miller Baez, Linda, Tom, and everyone else who pledged their support on Patreon. Thank you so much for your continued support. Your support means a lot to this channel, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you. So much work today, I'm so tired. Jeez. Are you tired, Zaki? <laughs> if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and enable the notifications. That way you get notified whenever I come up with new episodes. Let's Plant comes up every Tuesday my time and a recap every Saturday. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!